Hey friends, welcome to Power Life Live. I am Summer, this is Power Bar Express. So we have 45 minutes together. Um, you need some sort of bar for your practice. I would recommend a countertop, uh, back of a sofa, even a wall, just something that has some stability to it so you can put your body weight on it. Also, um, I've been teaching this class with a single, heavier than you usually go weight. Um, if you have those kind of options, do that. If you don't, grab what you got, we'll make it work. So place your weight underneath your bar and find a bar stretch, please. Um, you're gonna need to click play on your playlist before you get too cozy. A bar stretch. Stack your hips over your ankles. Bring your fingertips to your bar. Parallel your belly with your neck. From here, you can find some modified cats and cows. You inhale, cow pose, release your belly towards your mat, and your chest and gaze forward. Exhale, round your back towards the ceiling for a modified cat. Anything that feels good here, we're looking for articulation through our spine. You continue to move through cats and cows. You can take two shoulder dips, pedal to your feet. Um, as you know, we lost a cultural icon a few weeks ago, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Um, and not that probably any of us here knew her personally, but we feel that kind of a loss. Someone who is so dedicated to what they do and is so passionate and does so much good and puts that out in the world and has made a career out of it. So today we have an entire playlist of other rock women, badass women that have paved the way for others. My favorite quote from Ruth Bader Ginsburg, she says, fight for the things you care about, but do it in a way that will lead others to follow you. We'll lead in that today. For now, take a big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, high plank on your bar. High plank on your bar, right angle flying. By first position through your feet, bring your heels to touch, turn your toes out. Lower to a hover, I can't do it, I can't do it. And pulse, 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 pulse. It's beneficial if we sync up in our music in a few spots today, but that's okay, that's okay. For now, I want you to hover your chest above your mat. Flare through your chest, squeeze through your triceps, squeeze through your back, and pulse, 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 pulse. Keep going, build sensation. Get a little lower, make it a little tighter. For five. Last three. We have an alternate plie in two. Last one, push up, plie. Bar push up, plie. Bar push up, plie. My bar push up stuff, don't do what I'm doing. Bar push up, plie. Bar push up, plie. I, you probably can't see this, that's fine, that's fine. We're making it work, we're at home, we're in an empty studio, we're making it work. It's a full body warm up, you alternate. Bar push ups, bar plie. You are still in a plank, a high plank, on your bar, an elevated plank. The next time you come to your plank push up, hold it low, pulse, pulse, pulse. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, then broaden them, squeeze it. Squeeze it, so good, so good, get lower. For four, three, two, back to alternates. Plie, bar push up, plie, bar push up, plie, bar push up. All right, I got a bar that's gonna go flying. You don't, you don't, you got a wall. Or a back of a sofa, and if you don't, maybe you take this from high plate and just know that it is up level. You can do it. We're talking about strong, Badass women today, we're talking about people that paved the way for others. It's not without some grit, some hard work, some challenge on your mat. These are not new things to you. Five more. Last three. Two. Hold your bar, plie. Press all of your body weight into the ball of your right foot. Extend your left leg long into arabesque. Externally rotate your knee to the side. Squeeze through your upper left butt cheek. Fondue. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Lower and lift. Inhale, bend your right knee. Exhale, lock it up. Bend it. Squeeze it. Lower. Lift. Glide your knee over your toes. Continue to squeeze through your left loop. Get your leg up high. This should feel like death warmed up on your right quad and right glute. Yeah? Getting closer? Okay, I'll wait. Pull your belly up and in. Brace through your core. You've got a few more here. Last four. Three. Oh, and we got Stevie next to you if you're not there yet. Hold it low and pulse. Pulse. 
Lift and lower your right heel. Squeeze through your left glute. So both legs pulse. Pinch up, pinch up, pinch up, pinch up, pinch up, pinch up. Lift, lift, lift. It's teeny tiny. Looks like nothing, burns like a mother. That's where we live in bar. You've got it, two more. I know, I know, I know it sucks, stay in it. Last three, two, back to plies, both feet down, inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Stick it down, squeeze it up, drop your feet, zip your thighs, drop it like it's hot, zip it. Squeeze it. For four, hold at the bottom, and three, two, Hold about midway, press off your body weight this time into the ball of your left foot, extend your right leg long, arabesque, fondues. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift, lower. Squeeze it up, lower, squeeze it up. You are still in releve. Pinch through your right butt cheek, so much that your leg, your toe stays well above your mat. Yes, friends, now track your knee over your toe as you glide down your fondue, it's a single leg plie. And then squeeze everything up as you squeeze. Hug your muscles to your bones. So good. Yes, this is juicy. A few more here. We're just gonna even out, friends. Last three. Two. Back to plies. Sink it down. Zip it up. Drop. Pinch. Drop it. Pinch. You are still on a high plank, by the way. I'm not because I can't get there. Well, now I'm not falling forward. And then I still can't get there. Last three, two, bar stretch. Oh, thank God. Stack your hips over your heels. Stretch the backside of your body, your hamstrings, your lats even, your triceps. Big breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, mind your head. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, bring your arms to fifth position. Stay towards to your bar. I'll turn towards you. Fifth position, round through your elbows. Turn your palms in towards each other. Inhale, mountain pose, fifth position. Exhale, mini back bend, open your arms to second. Inhale, the fifth. Exhale, lean back to second. Inhale, fifth position. Exhale, lean back, second position arms. Inhale, fifth. Exhale, second, last one. Inhale, fifth. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, please. Exhale, fold low. Inhale, mountain pose, fifth position. Exhale, lean back, second. Inhale, fifth. Exhale, bring your fingertips to your bar. So I want your full arms distance from your bar. By first position, if you've lost it, bring your heels to touch, turn your toes out. Coupe, bring your left toe right behind your right heel. Inhale, glide, excuse me, Glide your hips back into warrior three. So it's warrior three in attitude. Externally rotate your left knee to the side. Point your inner thigh to the ground. Squeeze your glute, lock your leg in here. Warrior three, inhale. Exhale, stand, coupe. Inhale, glide back, warrior three. Exhale, stand, coupe. Inhale, glide back. Exhale, thrust it forward. Inhale, glide, exhale, squeeze. Glide it back, squeeze it up. I'm not moving my left knee. I'm not moving my left knee at all. It's like locked into position. So once you lock it in, you can ignore it and pay attention to your right hamstring. There's a baby deadlift built into this sucker. Perhaps you noticed. Glide your hips past your heel. Press them towards the top of your mat where you feel your hamstring go, oh, hot damn. And then you squeeze your glutes forward to stand your back in coupe. Can't see my feet. Coupe at the top. Warrior three attitude. Just hinge forward and back. Hug your belly up and in. On your next warrior three, grab your dumbbell in your left hand. Now I'm just adding some resistance. Resistance for your deadlift. We add to the top. In three, two, inhale lower. Exhale, come up, releve in a low row. Drop it down, glide back, coupe, releve, low row. Warrior three. Coupe, releve, low row. Warrior three, coupe, releve, low row. Squeeze your left shoulder blade back. Pinch through your strong back. 
Now squeeze your calf, your right calf into the back of your knees. So the releve comes from your calf pinch, not the arches of your feet. Find some control here. Flat foot as you glide your hips back. Again, feel the work in your hamstring. Exhale as you thrust, squeeze your glutes forward. Pull your shoulder blade and your calf. There's a lot happening here. You've got it. You can do hard things. Nothing worth having comes for free. We're just warming up to some good stuff, friends. And when I say good stuff, I mean some stuff. Challenging stuff. Effective stuff. Five more. Last three. It's about to get juicy. Hold your warrior three. Hold up the back. You're an attitude. Your dumbbell is down. Add a second position arm and arabesque, you guys. It is a back fly with a leg extension. Inhale, lower. Exhale, send it out. Lower, send it out. Lower, pinch it. Lower, pinch it. Pull it in. Exhale, squeeze. Pull it in. Exhale, send it out. It is a back fly. Squeeze your shoulder blade to your spine. Parallel your belly with your mat so you can pull with your strong back, not your shoulders. Isometric hold through your right glute. Now let's talk about your left hand straight. In arabesque, your leg is straight. So you have the leg extension, hug your muscles to your bone. As you bend your knee, pull back into attitude, it's a hamstring curl. There's a lot happening here. That's why this feels intense. Place your forehead right above your bar. Create like an L shape with your body. You will not be here forever. You've warmed up to this, this is what the, like, the, like the low row was for. Yeah, it was nice and easy until it's not. Now you're in your back. Pull your belly up and embrace through your midsection. You got it. So good, friends. Just a few more. Last three. Two. Step both feet forward. Turn your right side body to your bar. Find half moon. If you have a bar, Place forward and edge of a counter. Place your forearm on it. Stack your hips over your heels. Lateral leg raise the bicep curl. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze. Sink it down. Pinch it up. Lower. Pinch it. Lower. Pinch it. Lower. Pinch it. You've got it. All right, friends. I have another quote for you. Share. Okay. Share is on a first name basis with the world. She's kind of a big deal. Also, she's in her 70s, and as of like a few years ago, was still touring in fishnets. We can all learn something from Cher. But Cher would tell you, people, she says women, but people have to harness their power. It's absolutely true. It's just learning not to take the first no. If you can't go straight ahead, you go around the corner. Okay, friends, let's talk about some Cher wisdom here. Women are freaking resourceful. And even for the men in the crowd, like, look, we have fabulous men in our lives. They have a huge role in our lives. But when you come into a situation, a sticky spot, a lot of us will call our moms, we call our best girlfriends, an auntie, whatever it is, because women are freaking resourceful. We've not had, excuse me, we've had several situations in our lives where we weren't exactly going with the flow. We weren't always encouraged, like all the women on this rock playlist, right? Some of them realized their sort of fame after the fact, because when they were in the throes of building their empire, going after their dream, they were not being rooted for in the same way that like maybe their male counterparts were. So we think about share and we think about resourceful women and we think about grit. Use that here. Squeeze through your left abductor to get your leg up as high as you can. Then you recruit your obliques that come up two more inches. Oh, friends, did you feel that pinch all along your side? Yeah. Now, this is where you use your grit or you just grit your freaking teeth and make it happen. Keep on squeezing. Pinch through your bicep. You have to flex it. Bring your dumbbell six inches from your shoulders. Six inches. If you dump here, you lose all the engagement you've worked so hard to get. Six inches, lower the control. Flex it up, lower. It's a flex. I want you to give me like a good rock fist pump here. Okay. Okay, that's it. Five more. Last three. Two. Hold the top, soften and press. You press, 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 press. Just soften through your knee. Slight pull in your elbow. Press it, press it, press it. Press it. There is no bend. It's a release of the contraction. Then you lock it out. Press it. Press, release. Press, release. Press, release. 
It's a bicep extension. So I'm only pressing slightly forward to feel my bicep contract. So if you're in a full serve and you're getting into your shoulder blade, it's not where we're going. I want to burn out your bicep. Flex it. Press. Press. I know we're still in your right glute. We've been there for like ever. That's not changing. You get a move it next. Yes. Maybe you lift your right toes off your mat. You don't need them. Press through your heel. Four. Last three. Two. Turn your palm towards your bar. Lower your hand. Find news. Inhale. Bend your knee. Glide your hips back. Exhale. Come up three quarters of the way with a hammer curl. Inhale. Lower. Exhale. Squeeze it up. Inhale. Find news. Send it back. Exhale. Squeeze it. Lower. Lift it. Lower. Come up three quarters. You've got to continue to flex through your outside toes. Okay, friends. This is juicy. This is nobody's favorite, but it's effective. It is effective. I got some more quotes for you. We'll distract ourselves from this. Okay. Okay. Erica Josh is writer. She says, the trouble is, if you don't risk anything, you risk even more. Let that little truth bomb sizzle for a moment, friends. Nothing worth having comes for free. Are your actions aligned with your goals? Are you willing to take risks? I guarantee you, your right butt cheek will not fall off. It's not going to happen. This is a mind game. This is to test your determination, your discipline, your willpower. Can you get your mind right? Say, yes, I can. Yes, I will. Watch me get it. Five more. Last three. Two. Step out, second position. Thank God, roll away. Inhale, plie, lower down. Hold your plie, bicep curl extension. Bicep curl, lower halfway, extend it out. Pull it in, finish. Curl, lower half, extend. Pull it in, finish it. Curl, lower half, extend. Pull it in, finish. Curl. As you lower, lower halfway and extend it out. We're still in your bicep. This is why we have one heavier weight. Last three, two, last one, slide your outside foot into forward position, slide your foot behind your right. So align your heels with each other, come back into releve, lift up onto your toes, extend your dumbbell overhead. Fourth position, plie with an overhead lat, excuse me, tricep extension. Inhale, lower, bend your knees, your elbows. Exhale, squeeze up. Inhale, lower, exhale, punch it. Inhale down, exhale, squeeze. Pull your bicep behind your ear. Squeeze through your tricep. Now I want you to imagine that you are punching through your own glass ceiling. I mean, shove your knuckles, crack that sucker. Yeah, we had a break. We're done living small. We're done setting limiting beliefs, limiting our behavior, behaving in a way as if we don't set our own limits, right? They're exactly where you place them. They're not even real. So coming back to it, friends. I want you to think about something you want. Something that's been in the back of your mind saying, pay attention to me, pay attention to me. And you keep shoving it back around the corner. It's a thing. It's a thing you need to listen to. Look it in the face. Say, I see you. You know what it is. You know what it is. I see you. Name it. Say it out loud. There's no way around. Say it out loud. Okay, now it's a thing. Madonna would tell you. People are afraid to say what they want. And that's why they don't get what they want. That stops now. We are done playing small. You've named your thing. The fear, the fear of just saying it is gone. It's not liberating. Now, what are you going to do about it? Five more here. Last three. Two. Hold it in the middle. And pulse. 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 One inch up. One inch down. Teeny tiny. Now add your heels for funsies. Flatten and lift as you pulse. Lift and pulse. Let them pulse. Let them pulse. Let them pulse. So good, so good, so good, so good. Eight seconds here. Last five. Four. Three. Two. Hold it at the bottom. Bring your bar hand forward. Hinge forward. Narrow row with a tricep kickback. Pull it, kick it. Pull, kick it. Pull, kick it. You get a mini break from your tricep. Get into your back. Pull your shoulder blade to the ceiling. Walk your tricep out above your hips. Pull, kick it. Pull, kick it. Last three. Two. Drop your dumbbell underneath your bar. Come to the top of your back. Go to the next song if you're not there already. First position, Sote Jumps. You should be in Cherry Bomb. Our song is Cherry Bomb. 
You get two glorious minutes of cardio. When you hear cherry bomb, you burpee. Oh, we're doing it. Saute jumps. Burpee! Back up, saute. Ooh, first position through your arms. Burpee! Come back up, saute jumps. Switch to ancient pains. Second to first, second to first. Land with soft knee. Squeeze through your chest. Get ready. Here it comes, here it comes. Burpee! Ace your face. Burpee! Oh God, why am I doing this? All right, that's me, that's me. Whoo! In case you were wondering why we haven't done any cardio yet, we are saving it. Fast feet, fast feet, fast feet, get low. You should jiggle in places you didn't know you could jiggle. Here it comes. Burpee! Fast feet, fast feet. Burpee! Come back up, bucket. All right, friends, we're in this one for a minute. Kick your own butt. Pump your arms. Get ready. We want you to imagine your thing. Put it right in front of you, run, run it towards it. Faster! Here it comes. Burpee! Butt kicks. Who cool friends, the finisher. Burpee! 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 Get him in! Burpee! To the end, to the end, to the end, to the end! Ooh! Air high fives, friends. That was freaking killer. Come back to your bar. Good news! We're on side two. You get to catch your breath. We just start from the top, even up. First position, arm distance from your bar. Bring your left toe to coupe. Coupe, inhale, glide it back, warrior three and two. Exhale, coupe. Inhale, glide it back, warrior three and two. Exhale, coupe. Inhale, glide it. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, glide it. Exhale, squeeze. Externally rotate your knee out to the side. It stays there. It stays there. Send your hips behind your heels. On your next lower, grab your dumbbell in your right hand. So now you have a little bit of resistance, a little bit more love for your left hamstring as you get to recover. So fun story. Uh, this song by a band named Rude Salt. Um, I need my first cat for this all, and nobody got it. Until one day somebody was like, isn't that the snotty little girl on Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Ding, 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 ding. Okay, Baruch is all. Baruch, I think, is technically a wart. But this little girl, we remember her, right? Because she was like kind of a brat, but kind of fabulous. And her fur coat and daddy had won a pony and all that jazz. But here's the thing. We grow up thinking that women especially, but kids in general, we label them brats. If they say what they want and they don't compromise, we call them brats. Now think about that for a moment. As an adult, how important is it for you to say what you want, to say it out loud, and to not compromise? That is how you get what you want. Madonna says so. Janice Joplin, she's coming later. She says, do not compromise yourself. You are all that you have. Now, I'm not saying be unrealistic. Maybe. Maybe you dream big. I'm not saying be a jerk about it. But say what you want and stick to your guns. Ruth the salt, the end of the day. Yeah, she's a brat. But she gets what she wants. There's something we can learn from her. Get rid of that vocabulary. You're not bratty. You're not selfish for pursuing your dreams or goals. Four more. Add your releve and low rope. Glide it back. Pitch it at the top. Glide it back. Pitch it. Keep going. Look, friends, we're here for a hot minute. Let's turn your boots and panties on. We've got so much more fun stuff to do. So let me give you some more quotes. Elizabeth Gilbert, fabulous writer, says you got to stop wearing your wishbone where your backbone ought to be. Okay, think of your thing, that thing you named, and now you see full front. What are you wishing for? This dream and all of its kind of fuzziness. What do you want? What do you want out of it? What are you going to do about it? 
risk a little bit. Put your backbone where your wishbone has been. Take some steps. Identify one step, one step you can take to realizing your dream or being closer to it. Ruth Bader Ginsburg also says real change, enduring change happens one step at a time. Pick your step. Commit, commit in the next five days. We're not even giving ourselves a full week. Five days to say what you want and make something happen to get what you want. And then we know from share too, if you don't go in the front door, you go around the corner. And maybe you get some no's. That doesn't mean you stop, you push. Five. Last four. Three, two, hold it at the back, warrior three. Second position arm with an arabesque, the back fly leg extension. Send it out, inhale over, exhale, squeeze it, inhale down, exhale, pinch it, bring it back, pinch it up, bring it back, pinch it up, dial your hips down towards your mat. Now you're in air best, you can add two with your right leg. Your right hip might open slightly, that's okay. But brace through your lower belly, through your lower back, press through your left heel. Four, three, two, Last one, bring your feet together, turn your left side by the bar, half moon. Lateral leg raise the bicep curl. Inhale, lower, exhale, pinch it, lower. Squeeze it tight. Glue your elbow to your rib cage. Flex your guns. Back flex both your feet too while you're at it. Pull your belly up and in. Don't look down, look forward. Your goals are in front of you, that's where you're looking. Keep going. Yes, we're still in your left butt cheek. I mean, you guys, did you not know this from side one? We were going to be here a minute. And when I say a minute, I mean several, several. Because here's why. You play to our strengths. Your backside is the strongest thing on you. Strongest muscle you have. This is your time to shine, friends. And I want you to think about what's holding you back. Your butt is not going to fall off. It's not going to happen. This is a mind game. This is like a test to see how bad you want something. Debbie Ford says all of our suffering in life is saying we want one thing and doing another, as in I want to lift a tone backside as I piece out of this work. Ah, uh -uh, friends, get in it. Yeah. Few more, few more. And then we talk about what's holding us back. I mean, fear of failure, right? We don't want to name the thing. We don't want to say what it is because then it's on the table and the world knows it. what if we fail? Well, what if you don't? Failure is temporary and it's a necessary stepping stone. So it's silly to be afraid of it. I'm not saying I'm not even, I don't have my bag of tricks, but push that away. Fear of failure is gone. It's gone. It's off the table. So now it's holding you back. Hold at the top. Stop it and press. Press it. Press it. Press it. Press it. Press it. You got it. Release your muscles, then flex them. Hug them to your bone, release. Ooh. There is no bend, it's teeny tiny. Now lift through your obliques, get your leg higher. Oh God, oh God. But you see what you're holding back. I told you we were done with it. Come on. Be here, be in it. Work hard. So fear of failure, off the table. Fear of judgment, oh, that's a big one. How often we judge ourselves? let alone over worry about others' judgment. But I'll leave you with this one from Fabulous Anne Rand, or excuse me, Byron Katie. She says, it is not your job to like me. It's mine. Repeat that. It is not your job to like me. It's mine. Not everyone's going to like you. And that's a shocker, I know, right? Because you are pretty damn fabulous. She can't be everyone's cup of tea. That doesn't matter. We hear you do you all the time, right? You got to start doing it. You can't be afraid of other people's judgment. They are not putting in the work. They are not the outcome. They are not living your experience. And frankly, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Other people's opinion of you isn't any of your damn business. So stop letting it hold you back. It is your job to like you. And friends, I'm here to tell you it's not bragging. It's not selfish to push. You have skills. You have talents. You have passions. It is selfish to hold them back. We all benefit from it. When you raise your frequency, when the tide rises, all ships sail. You set an example, you paved the way, like RBG, like Courtney Love, and all these other women that we're talking about today. It is top of mind. Five, four, last three, two. Add your low fly or your fondue. Inhale, lower. Exhale, three quarters away. Hammer curl. Inhale, down. Exhale, squeeze it up. Send your booty back. Lift it up. Send it back. Lift it up. 
Send it back. Look it up. You got it. This one's murder, but you get out of it. You get out of this shortly. It's the last little variation. It's the last teeny baby thing. That's awful. True. But I want you to channel. Put your backbone where your wishbone was. Push hard. I'm also here to tell you, it's like the 80s rock. Big hair ever comes back. It is my time to shine. You guys can't even see me back home. You've got a few more. Like, even with my sweaty hair, it's pretty big. Just saying. Courtney Love, the, like, the messy red lipstick. I'm already rocking that when I try to dress up. It's probably because I don't do it very often. I live in sweaty yoga clothes. You too? All right. Five more. Last three. Two. Step out, second position. Thank God. Releve. Plie A, hold here. Bicep curl into an extension. Finish your curl. Lift it as you lower halfway. Press it forward. Lower. Curl. Lower half. Press forward. Curl it up. Lower halfway. Press forward. Lower halfway. Press forward. Finish your curl. Keep going. Lift your heels high. Squeeze your calves to the back of your knees. Drop your hips and lie with your knees. Oh, God. I know. Can you find a mirror? Can you find a pane of glass? Your device. Anything where you can see your reflection. And look at that badass there. Like, look at how amazing you are. Also, check in, because this is where we feel like we're at our lowest point, and we're kind of standing up. So it's a little bit of accountability, a little tough love. Drop your hips lower. Yeah! Now squeeze your glutes to open your knees, flare to the inside of your legs. Lighten up. Lighten up. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. Five more. Last three. Two, glide your outside foot in to forward position behind your left. So take your right leg behind. Align your heels. Releve. Punch your dumbbell to the ceiling. Inhale lower. Plie. Bend your elbow. Bend your knees. Exhale overhead tricep extension. Inhale glide. Exhale press. Sit it down. Press it up. Pull your bicep behind your ear. Squeeze the back of your arm at the top. It's a little bit of shoulder left, just a teeny tiny bit. Hug your belly up and in, tuck your tailbone under. I want you to get as tall as you can. One long line of energy at the top of your range, from your toes, through the crown of your head, through your dumbbell. So good. Now I want you to think about some limiting behaviors again. We're punching through the glass ceiling here. Kind of literally. How many times a day do you apologize? Like you didn't do anything bad. You say, oh, I'm sorry. Like you almost bumped into somebody. Oh, I'm sorry. That stops. Say, excuse me. That's polite. But you are not sorry for taking up space. End of story. You are not sorry. Don't say it. One, your other apologize, apologies become less authentic. But two, we don't apologize for taking up space. No. How many emails, how many texts do you send a day that include the word just? I'm just checking it. No, you're freaking not. You're checking in. I'm just following up. No, you're not. You're following up and holding some jerk accountable, probably. <laughs> right? Right? You're not just doing anything. You're doing the thing. What is your one step? Think about it. Come into it. Last three. Two. Sink it low and pulse. 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 Add your heels. Pulse it up. Pulse it up. Pulse it up. Pulse it up. For five. Four, mini break, slight change in two. Hold it low, bring your dumbbell behind your hip, bar hand forward, hinge forward, narrow row, kick back. Row, kick back. You're still in your tricep. You get a baby break with the narrow row. Squeeze your shoulder blade to the ceiling, pull your elbow above your rib cage, then lock your tricep out. It should be trembling. Keep on going, friends. Five more. Last three. Two. Last one. Step out, second position. Drop your dumbbell at the top of your mat. Bring your finger, oh, mind rolling. Bring your finger just behind your ears. You can't be a weight gaming badass without getting in a little bit of trouble, without stirring up a little bit of stuff. Comes with consequences, friends. Prisoner saute, saute jump. Do your knees, heels, saute. Knees, heels, saute jump. Knees, heels, so take jump. 
knees. Heel, you know, alternate, which knee comes down first? You are only here for eight seconds. Just so taste in five, four, three, ha, 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 ha. Point your toes. Eight. Full squat jumps in five, three, two, ha, get up. Explode. Up, up. Eight seconds, that's it. Five, four, three, two. Second position, inhale. Exhale, lunge to the top. Drop to your knees, grab your dumbbell, come to your seat. Extend your legs long out in front. Go this way. Lean back, 45 degrees. Second to fifth transfers. Second position arms, fifth, second, fifth, second. Fifth transfer your weight, second, fifth. Whoo, isometric hold through your core. Pull your belly up and in, lean back. Lean back. Attempt to relax your legs. Oh, God. Tuck your tailbone under. Squeeze your navel to your spine. Keep going. Keep going. Also, we never hate ourselves. Joe Jett's got this one wrong. Five more. Last three. Two. Hold it up. Tuck with an overhead press. Right knee. Press. Left knee. Press, to the right, overhead press, to the left, press, right, press, squeeze your belly, press, pinch it, press, squeeze your biceps behind your ears, press it up and back, four, three, two, overhead raise with a tuck, tuck it in and raise a kick, tuck, kick and raise, tuck, kick and raise, both knees, woo, tuck, kick, and raise. Tuck, kick it, tuck, kick it. Okay, I try to lean back a little too much. I may be rolling all over. You may be too, nobody cares. Just keep flexing through your belly, keep the engagement. Last three, two, heels down, Russian twist, side to side, they're fast, they're fast. To the end, friends. Woo, imagine you're wringing out a towel. Your midsection is the towel. Twist, twist from your waist. Last three. Two. Oh, you made it. Drop your dumbbell figure four stretch. Pull your right heel above your left knee. Pull your left heel towards your booty. Flex your toes. Gently sway side to side. It feels good. I mean, if you're like me and still recovering from your cardio, the short blip I did. <laughs> Keep your head above your heart, stay on your bottom. Or if you just prefer this stretch, take it here. If you want to go under your back, do it. If you want to reach to the keel you've created, do it. You do what you want, friends. I mean, in responsible ways. Respectful-ish ways. Take a big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Switch it out. Bring your left ankle above your right knee. Pull your right heel towards your booty. Flex your toes. Protect your knee joint. Gently sway. Few more breaths here. In the words of Anne Rand, she says, the question isn't who's going to let me, it's who's going to stop me. Take a big breath in. Exhale, unwind, come onto your back. Inhale your arms overhead, reach through your toes, full body stretch. Exhale, hug your knees into your chest, rock forward and back side to side. The question isn't who's going to let me, Who's gonna stop me, you guys? We get in our own damn way so often. We hold ourselves back. Again, fear of failure, fear of judgment. If you rock side to side, forward and back. When you're ready, allow your knees to fall to the left side for a supine twist. Stack your right hip on top of your left. Glue your right shoulder blade to your mat. Feel a stretch in the middle of your back. Stay and breathe. So we want you to notice when you're getting in your own way. You've already identified your dream your step, and the worst thing you can do, guys, is see it, name it, say it, throw it out into the universe and watch somebody else catch it. Watch somebody else live your dream. Ah, uh -uh. no, not after all that hard work. And if you can push through the challenges and still focus on your dream and all that stuff we were doing, the challenges that come with the work, you can handle. It's not gonna be easy, it doesn't come for free, but you're accustomed to that, you have a strong practice. Take a big breath in. 
Exhale, come back to your center, hug your knees in, reset. Allow them to fall to the right, supine twist. Singles apply, stack your left hip on top. Plant your left shoulder blade to your mat. Look for the same sensation, maybe it's not the same posture. If it's too juicy, release your knees, your heels towards the top of your mat. So get out of your own damn way. Don't be afraid to kind of like elbow your way to the front of the line, the front of the show, to let others know they need to get out of your damn way too. In a respectful way, you guys, we beat ourselves up and frankly, others aren't invested in our dreams the same way we are. We know that. So even though everyone can have an opinion, a lot of times they mean well. A lot of times they think you want it. A lot of times they're freaking wrong, but that doesn't mean you have to like live and bask in it. You can just say thank you and let that go. And if it gets bad enough, you just say no thank you and you let that go. Get things out of your way. It's not who's going to let you, it's who's going to stop you. That is how you pave the way. Big breath in. Exhale, slowly come back to your center, hug your knees in, find happy baby, grab the knife edge of your feet, kick your heels to the ceiling as you pull them back down with your hands. Place your entire tailbone on your mat. Maybe you rock side to side from here. Experiment with pushing one heel towards the ceiling and then the other, paddle through your feet. Either way, open through your hips, stretch your hamstrings. Take a big breath in. Exhale, bring your knees back to your chest, hug them in. And release to your Shavasana. Maybe you skip to the next song. We'll pull you out in just a moment. Slowly, begin to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Inhale your arms overhead, one full body stretch. Exhale, hug your knees into your chest. Please roll to your right side, supported fetal position. Press your head on your bicep, curl your knees towards your chest. Take a big breath in. Exhale, sigh it out. I will leave you with the words of Madonna, because she says it best. To the doubters and naysayers and everyone who gave me hell, and said I could not, that I would not, or I must not. Your resistance made me stronger, made me push harder, made me the fighter that I am today. It made me the woman, person I am today. So thank you. When you're ready, slowly press up to a comfortable seated position. Your eyes can remain closed. Inhale your arms overhead one last stretch. Think of your one thing. Take it in your hands. Pull it to your heart center. Ruth Bader Ginsburg also said that real change Enduring change happens one step at a time. Take your one step. 
complete it in the next five days. You, my friends, are so freaking strong. You are worthy. You are enough. And the world deserves your dream to come true. We seal our practice, honor each other with namaste. So good, my sweet friends. Have a fabulous rest of your day. You work so hard. You deserve like maybe a quick treat on your way to badassery. We'll see you soon.